This one's going to be an i3 HUD menu. Basically, if you ever use the Ubuntu HUD, aka heads up display, and you like that feature, like I, I, I think everyone likes that feature, they just don't like Unity. So this time we can actually use that feature without the Unity desktop. Uh, and it, I think it should work on any distribution, uh, so on and so forth. You don't have to use Unity. So let me demonstrate it out here. So this one is using Chromium. And if you don't know what the heads up display is all about, basically instead of like finding your options inside here uh, manually, you can actually just search it. So that's what we're gonna do here. Bust out my hotkey and I can search it. Let's say I wanna do incognito mode, right? Open a new incognito window, so on and so forth. Um, if I wanna do like, let's say new tab or something like that, it'll open a new tab, so on and so forth. Um, other things. Let's say you want to use another, let's say my file manager here. If I want to search uh, options in here, I can just bust out the hotkey. And let's say I do new window or something. Or let's say I do um, about page or something, right? Then it'll tell me um, about it, so on and so forth. But mainly what people use this for, I'd probably say like GIMP or something, because GIMP, they have a lot of options, you know, filters and everything. And uh, this program or this HUD would be best used with GIMP or some other programs that has a lot of options and you don't want to waste time digging into the menu. Uh, you can just use this feature and I'll just search it real quick. So for example, let's say I want to open something real quick. So do open, I don't know, open an image or something like that. You can do it from here. And you know, other stuff you can do with GIMP and so on and so forth. Anyways, all that being said, how you set this stupid thing up, uh, I'm using a, an arch based system, so I'm going to show you that for arch, but in the blog post uh, the, the original dude that created it um, He has it for Zubuntu so you can use it for Zubuntu and I believe any other uh, distribution uh, Desktop environment and so on and so forth. You just have to install the correct packages and follow the some stupid steps All right, it's not that hard. So how do you do this here on an arch system? Basically, you need to install these packages. So Python 3 here, Python Dbus, Dmenu, uh, App Menu, and BZR. And then you need to install this package, which is the Unity GTK module standalone BZR. This one is in the AUR, so you need an AUR helper or something like that to install it. Or you can manually install it yourself, whatever, right? But it's in the AUR. Uh, so install those packages. That's step one there. Next thing is you need to get these two scripts here. Uh, this script, so I'll link you all this in the description. Um, but basically you need to install or download these scripts. So the i3 app menu services and the i3 HUD menu. Uh, and basically you need to add this to the startup and you need to uh, create a hotkey for this. Uh, and then, you know, I'll pop out the, um, the menu when you're doing this. So that's what I'm gonna do here next here so let's do this here bust out my settings and the first thing I'm gonna do is the sessions and go to auto start up here and basically you just add a new one and give it a name whatever you want so I already did it here but uh, I call this one heads up display and you just point it to was that the uh, script which is uh, i3 app menu service py right just that's all you gotta do Next thing is you need to um, go to your keyboard shortcuts and um, what do you do? Oh yeah, you do, uh, you add a new one and basically this is what it looks like here. You just add a new one and you point it to that script, the i 3 hud menu.py, and then you just give it a hotkey which I use uh, super n and, and that is it. Any hotkey you want doesn't matter. Uh, and the last step is to add this to your profiles okay let me see here what is that we'll do vim profiles here right dot profiles and in here all you gotta do is paste this stupid code in here and that is it all you gotta do is log out now and log back in and it should work so the only issue i have with this is that um uh the the regular menus you know how you have like file edit and so on and so forth uh, that thing is gone, and um, I don't know how he did it, but he got it to work with uh, Zubuntu, 
but on my arch uh, system I couldn't get the menus back I really want the menus back along with working with this HUD here but I just couldn't do it if you guys can figure it out to have the menus back uh, let me know because I really want the menus back alongside with working with um, you know the uh, the HUD uh, menu here but that's how that works and pretty cool feature it's just that I, I always liked that feature I just did not like the the unity desktop um, and finally we can actually get to use this outside of unity and that's a good thing anyways if you're interested in it uh, everything's in the description and you're good to go that's it for this one